Friday Football Frenzy on KPRC presented by UT Physicians, a part of UT Health. Now, from KPRC Channel 2 Sports, it's Friday Football Frenzy, presented by UT Physicians, your home team for health care. Hi, we're the St. Pius and Orange Varsity Cheerleaders, and you're watching the Friday Football Frenzy on Channel 2. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Friday Football Frenzy. They just turned the lights out here at Knight Stadium at Episcopal High School, but we're, we're not going to stop our coverage at all. Highlights from all across Houston coming up. Check out the scores at the bottom of the screen. Look out for your favorite team. We're going to get it rolling right now. Our game of the week, you know by now, St. Pius and Episcopal, two private school powerhouses year in and year out. Let's roll the highlights now. Both teams unbeaten, quickly dashed by St. Pius five-star quarterback Grant Gannell. He'll up to the streaking Caleb Ducross. Panthers touchdown made it 7-0 on a wet field from earlier range. Turnover is a problem for the Knights. Backed up here. Little miscue. St. Pius's Jagger Pagano recovers. Made it 14-0. Panthers getting it rolling now. Second quarter. Ganell again in the pocket. Corner route. Lost it up for Booby Curry. What a catch there. 21-0 St. Pius. Then it's Gundell again later in the half. This time the All-American keeps it himself. He's in from 15 yards out. 28-0 at the half. Final tonight, 42-0 St. Pius takes care of business. I caught up with Gundell and the Panthers just a few minutes ago. All right, we are here with the winning Panthers tonight. How's it feel, guys? Yeah! With quarterback Craig Gundell. Grant, and uh, I know you give a lot of credit up front on a, on a wet football field. You guys put a 42 tonight. Yeah, I really just thank to my defense for getting stops in the O-line, all of them, and uh, most of all my receivers, especially Trenton Wagner. Happy birthday. It's birthday boy. Yeah. Yeah. Here he goes. Hey, what's this win mean in the grand scheme of things for, uh, I know you all have big, big plans for this whole season, though. Uh, it's just another win. Next week, we're 0-0. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Time to celebrate, guys. Good job. Way to go. All right, next stop, let's go to Strike Jesuit. Crusaders hosting Eisenhower. Second quarter, Michael Hansen, play action. William Dickinson snatches it away, races 40 yards for the six. Strike up 14 to three. Ensuing Eagles drive now from their own one yard line. Christian Sims on third and long from his end zone. Anthony Ice, amazing one-handed grab right there. Would not be enough, though. Straight Jesuit moves to 3-0. They get the win tonight, 34-3 to the final. All right, our next stop takes us up north. The Woodlands facing Oak Ridge in Woodford Stadium. First quarter, Brayton Guilford gets the handoff, races 20 yards for the touchdown. 7-0 Highlanders. Late in the first now, Casey Sunsery swings out to P.J. Villarreal. This is how you execute a bubble screen, folks. P.J. goes 43 yards for the score. How about the Highlanders bouncing back in a big way? 52-0 the final tonight over Oak Ridge. They take care of business at Wood Forest Stadium. All right, out to Klein Memorial Stadium we go now. Let's check in with Klein Oak and Klein Bearcats meeting up. First quarter with Klein backed up on their own three. Oaks, Hunter Smith gets to the quarterback for the sack, made it 2-0 on the safety. Second quarter now, same score. Montrell Bolton puts it up. Tyler Hudson right there brings it down. How about a 44-yard hookup for six? Klein Oak wins, final of 26-12 over Klein. All right, for Klein, let's head out to the rig in Pearland. Dickinson and Dawson, the Gators jump out to a quick 14-0 lead after two easy drives. Quarterback keeper for Mike Welch did a four-yard four -year run from Jordan Green. Later now, big play from the Dawson defense. Blake Smith knocks the ball out off the hit. They recover the ball, but don't take advantage. Dickinson continues to dominate. Mike Welch makes a great pass to Daryl Harris for the touchdown. Gators win tonight over Dawson, 34-6, the final in that one. Over to Bulldogs Stadium in LaPorte. Bulldogs in Friendswood tonight. Not being friendly guests now. Early first quarter, quarterback Luke uh, Groan floats it up beautifully to Austin Alvarez in the back of the end zone, made it 7-0 Mustangs. Still, first quarter, Fridgewood in the red zone. Colton Alata will not be denied. 43-7 the final. The Mustangs are 3-0. They knock off 
uh, Laporte tonight at Bulldog Stadium. Let's head out to spring now. George Stadium. Fort Ben Travis facing the Spring Lions. Third quarter, Travis quarterback Colin Mashitsky hits R.J. Henderson on fourth down. The catch and races in for the score. Travis led it 38-20. And now it's time for the Friday Football Frenzy Play of the Game. Brought to you by Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. All right, our Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burger Play of the Night comes from Butler City. Mammals Cameron Alexander feels the pot after a couple of bounces, makes the move up the sideline, 58-yard touchdown. We have much more of that game coming up. Hey, quick stop over to Katie now. Katie Tigers hosting IPN. This is a club team from Mexico. First quarter, 7-0. DeAndre Glass, 66 yards to the house. I can tell you all Katie tonight, 63-0, the final in that one. Tigers, not the only powerhouse team winning big tonight. For more on that, let's toss it to the studio. Check in with Adam Wexler with more. Hey, Wex. Hey, Randy. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Let me hit you with some highlights. And we're going to start with the Manville Mavericks. As you mentioned, at Butler Stadium, you needed to be in your seats early for this one. Sharpstown had the honors of kicking off to Manville. That's Cameron Alexander again. We just saw him before, and he's in and out of a little traffic, and then he's in for their first touchdown of the game, and lots more coming. We're still in the first minute of the game. First offensive play, another touchdown. Josh Coulter to Jalen Paxton. They'd score on a block punt next, and they would win this one going away 67 to nothing over Sharpstown. Let's get out to pre Stadium now. Cy Falls and Cy Creek in this one. Late fourth quarter, a good one. The Falls down one. Goodwin with the screen to Josh Morris. Gets it down, hits the sidelines. He's out at the three-yard line. But don't worry, with just 36 seconds remaining, Eagles go ahead. Kobe Levitt's run, a two-point conversion, will seal it. And Cy Falls wins 17 to 10. Now to Absher Stadium. We're in Deer Park. The Deer hosting Katie Taylor. Second quarter, it's Taylor running back Casey Shorter. Hits the right side, untouched, short touchdown. Taylor up 5, 12 to 7. Now let's get to the fourth quarter. Shorter again, a 16-yard scamper into the end zone. Another Mustang score, makes it 19-10. And that's your final. Taylor gets the 19-10 win. Of course, we're not quite done yet with the highlights. Plenty more still coming as we continue with more of the frenzy. Back out to Randy out at Episcopal High School. All right, Wax, appreciate it, man. Hey, new poll for next week's Friday Football Frenzy Game of the Week is set. Here are the games. Where are you going to send me? Start voting. Click to use it.com. Go to the sports page in the Frenzy tab. Vote until early next week. We'll announce the winner next Wednesday at 6 and 10. Coming up, more of the Frenzy, but right now the Sharpstown Band takes us to break. Our school spirit. <gasps> Tag your game day photos with the hashtag Verizon Spirit, and your photo may be our next KPRC High School Spirit Selfie of the Week sponsored by Verizon. Thanks for sending in your awesome pics. We've looked through them all, and here is this week's KPRC High School Spirit Selfie of the Week. See you next week. Verizon is a proud sponsor of local high school sports. All right, thank you, Verizon. Hey, last stop here on the Frenzy, Atascacita, Kingwood tonight, Turner Stadium, first quarter. Kingwood tailback Casey Roth takes the pitch, puts some great blocking in front of him, then turns on the Jets. How about going Superman for the pylon right there? Mustangs with the early lead, but Bryce Matthews and the Atascacita Eagles answer right back. Matthews keeps this one for the score. This is one of the great rivalries in the Houston area every year. Atascacita, though, is a winner tonight over Kingwood by a final of 27 to 20. What a great night for the Friday football frenzy. Some great matchups again here. Our game of the week, all St. Pius. They beat Episcopal 42-0. All-American quarterback Grant Gannell counted for five touchdowns tonight as they stay undefeated. Reminder to keep voting. Our poll is up. Click to Houston.com. Go to the sports page and the frenzy tab. Vote until next week. We'll do it again next Friday.